talking about it the way it is the way it is it's no mystery there's no getting around it when you're here when you're here we got chemistry we light up when we When you leave, don't forget to remember, don't forget to remember me. When you leave, don't forget to remember, don't forget to remember me. Remember. Fight for you every second to keep your touch, keep your touch in my memory. I try not to regret it. What could have been, should have been if you would stay with me when you leave. Forget to remember me when you leave. Don't forget to remember. Don't forget to remember me. Remember me. Oh, oh, oh. Remember. I think I know anymore. Tell me there's a reason. Was there ever anything more? Have I been afraid to find what I've been looking for? It's all a state of mind. How did you know that everything was broken by design? How beautiful is taking us along?
I built up walls like mansions to the sky Protect my heart so it would survive But you climbed in like no one else could do The day I knew I needed you I was drifting out safe from any shore Welcome back to Rebecca. Unfortunately, it is the final day, but uh, what a way to finish off this phenomenal event. It is the SA Swimming Champs. We've enjoyed five days of thrilling action and one more to go. We've got the heats this morning, followed by the finals this evening. If you've just joined us, if you saw a little earlier, Anton Kaiser uh, providing plenty of images uh, for the world to see from this amazing event. And uh, yeah, we've been Really, really happy to bring it to you yeah, from Newton Park Swimming Pool in the heart of Nelson Mandela Municipality. Got the officials making their way poolside. Great to see them. They really have uh, provided tremendous work. Very, very good work from them. Greeting the crowd. And as always, when I say crowd, it is the fellow swimmers because unfortunately no crowd here because of COVID-19 protocols. All the swimmers, the officials, the coaches, the media, living in a bio bubble. We've all come straight from the hotel here to the pool to witness some amazing action with Olympic and Paralympic dreams on the line. Last night, another tremendous evening of swimming. Unstoppable Tatiana Skunmaka shattering another national record. And amazingly, she was so eager for a teammate to qualify that uh, she didn't even realize what she had done. Her teammate uh, being Laura van Nekak, the 17-year-old. She missed out on qualifying for Tokyo by 0.33 of a second. Skunmaka, meanwhile, in the 100 breaststroke, stopped the clock on 105.74. And it puts her second in the world this season behind the only Olympic champion, Lily King. So, yeah, it was a great day of swimming action yesterday. And the final day promises more of the same. We thoroughly enjoyed bringing it to you. And we hope that you've enjoyed the coverage as well. Well, to kick off proceedings this morning. This is the first race of the day. And the first of many races in the heats. 50 freestyle. Very much a blue ribbon event. And one that a lot of competitors are taking part in. So this should be a hell of a lot of fun. First up, we've got McQuenda, Butcher, Ribeiro, Dosta, and Janchi from lanes two through to five. Through to six, rather. 50 meter freestyle, it is the quickest event in swimming. One length of the pool. Inspect times of around half a minute.
And in they go. Good start from Ribeiro from the Western Cape. 18 years of age, just ahead of Dosta. Which are looking strong too. Ribeiro going out very, very well. Janchi also nice in the sixth lane. McQuenda uh, making her presence felt. But so far, Ribeiro looks slightly in front. It's going to be a very, very tight finish. Ribeiro ahead of Butcher with Dosta outside her. Ribeiro, though, looking strong. Ribeiro or Dosta? Who's it going to be? Ribeiro going. Dosta making a comeback. But Ribeiro looks like she might take it just. Whoa, it's going to be tight. And Ribeiro gets the win. Wow, 28.23. Burnley Dosta, 28.44. Nothing in between those two. And uh, if that is... A snapshot of what we can expect to see today. Oh, we are in for a thrilling morning of swimming action here in Quebec. Look at this replay. Wow. That was outstanding. Swimmers make their way back. Enjoying their warm down. And there is confirmation. Nuria Ribeiro followed by Burnley Duster and Georgina Butcher rounding off the top three. Is a record in this event, 24.62. In fact, that's the Africa record. The South African record, 24.95, held by Erin Gallagher, who's also had a tremendous event and uh, qualifying for the Olympics as well, following that uh, 4 by 100 freestyle relay. So she'll certainly be one to watch out for. And... The Tokyo qualifying time, 24.77. And that is going to be a tough nut to crack. But uh, one that certainly is within reach for Erin Gallagher. Her quickest time, 24.95, will her seeding time. Moving on to the second heat now of the morning. Second event of the morning. In they go, Landman, Robson, Yonkta, Baptiste, Kutsia, Piazza, Taylor and Miller. Who's it going to be? Good start from Kutsia. Baptiste looking strong as well. Yonker just behind her. So far, Baptiste uh, looking very, very good. Followed by Kutsia. Uh, Lisa Kutsia has had a very good event, as had Tane Baptiste. Jeez, they are flying through to the finish. Baptiste looking very good. There's nothing to choose between them. Kutsia looking exceptionally good. Who's it going to be? It is Baptiste looking out in front, although we've got a lane one. Wow, what a finish from Lundman coming out of nowhere. Natalie Lundman with an, a tremendous finish. 27.32, the only swimmer to dip be below 28 seconds. That was exceptional from Natalie Lundman from the Free State. That orange cap, you can't miss it. And out in lane one, we had a burner win. What a swim from Natalie Lundman. Look at her go. Wow. Natalie Lundman out in lane one. Good body length clear. She saw through to the finish. That was tremendous. Confirmation. We 
do have the next set of swimmers taking to the water. That's uh, not the results. That's the preview for what we can expect now for the next race. But Natalie Lantman, what a performance from her from the Free State. 27.32. A brilliant swim from her. So moving on to the next heat, the third of five. Van der Westeisen, Mikla, De Villiers, Kenny, Weidemann, Schoenmacher, Oppermann, and Hearn. Amy Kenny, certainly the one to watch out for. Tatiana Schoenmacher trying her hand in freestyle. Also exceptional in the stroke. But Amy Kenny, certainly the one to watch. Amy Kenny booking her place for Tokyo following that 4x100 relay effort from a couple of nights ago. In they go. Blink and you'll miss it. Great dive from Amy Kenny getting in the water very, very quickly. Outsider De Villiers going along nicely. Watch out for the burners too. We just saw a victory coming out from lane one. Will we see a similar effect this time around? I don't think so given Amy Kenny's prowess. Look at the Western Cape swimmer go. Also looking very good is Vitamin. Vitamin looking exceptional. It's between Kenny and Vitamin. Kenny and Vitamin. Who's going to get there first? Vitamin looks like she's just getting ahead and she will take it. Wow. Inga Vitamin 25.61. That was exceptional. Inga Vitamin getting in ahead of Amy Kenny. Vitamin's time 25.61. Kenny 25.76. Can see that smile on their face. Outside Tokyo time, the time again 24.77. Confirmation there. 25.61 for Vitamin, Amy Kenny in second, and uh, Michaela de Villiers rounding off the top three. They'll be fighting hard tonight to try and get into Tokyo. This is just the heats, the finals still to come. The next batch of swimmers getting ready. <laughs> Looking at preparing Mayer, Palik, Rousseau, Chelius, Nell, Nell, Nodes, and Nokia. So joined now by Amy Kenny, just missing out on the winner. Very, very good performance from Inga there, Amy. Yeah, that was a great race. I felt good, a good morning swim. Um, great swim for Inga as well. <laughs> Sorry, Amy, out of breath uh, as we head into the next race. This is the fourth of five freestyle prelims. Mayor Palak Rousseau, Chelius, Nell, Nell, no, it's no care. Who do you watch out for here? Um, definitely Emma, lane oh, four. Okay, lane four, Emma Chelius, watch out for her. As the fourth of five heats take to the water. And in they go. Good start from Nell. Emma Chelius, Amy Kenny saying the one to watch out for Nell and Chelius going strong out in lanes four and five. Very good performance so far from the two of them. Rousseau also looking pretty strong. 
But uh, yes, yeah, so far, it's Chelius looking very, very good over in lane four. You're told to watch out. Look at this time. Remember that time, 24.77 to get into Tokyo. Look at this effort. This is astounding from Emma Chelius. Look at her go in the time. 24.72. She has got into Tokyo. Wow. Amy, you wow. called it. Awesome. <laughs> Emma Chelius, listen to the crowd go wild. That is an amazing swim, 24.72. And she needed 24.77. Look at the celebrations all around. What do you think, Amy? Oh, that is amazing. I'm so happy for her. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Emma Chelius in the heats has booked her place to Tokyo. She can hardly believe it. Wow, Amy, we can hardly catch our breath. I know <laughs> I'm out of breath and I haven't swam 50 meters. No, that was amazing. <laughs> um, and of course, uh, yourself, uh, booking your place to Tokyo a couple of nights ago. Tell us about that 4x100. Oh, it was amazing just to swim with girls that like, we actually work together now as a team instead of just racing against each other. So it was very nice. And uh, having a look at this replay now, I mean, geez, you told us, look out for Emma. She's going to do exceptionally well. And uh, geez, did you expect her to do this well already in the heats? Ah, yeah, she's been, she's on form at the moment. She's looking amazing. Yeah. Okay, Amy Kenny, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Go rest up and we'll see you later. Good luck tonight. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Emma Chelius. And we've just got confirmation to it is also an SA record. Beating the record set by Erin Gallagher in 2019. Emma Chelius, 24.72. That was astounding. Yeah. My goodness. Wow. So congratulations to Emma Chelius booking her place for Tokyo. And of course, she had already been going there because of that 4x100. Let's see if I can try and bring her here. Look at that celebration. That was amazing. So Emma says she'll uh, be a short leash. She just wants two minutes to warm down and uh, regain her emotions. And we'll be chatting to her as we move over to this, the final heat of the morning for this event. Frank Monroe, Delange, Gallagher, Lovemore, Diarcha, Folk and Phillips. 24.77 the time to get. And in they go. Erin Gallagher had the SA record up until a couple of seconds ago. Good start from her in lane four. Lovemore doing well in lane five. It's fast and furious, the 50-meter freestyle event. It is the final heat of the morning. Erin Gallagher looking very, very strong. A very good time so far. Watch her go. Erin Gallagher over in lane four. She's pulling away from the pack. Erin Gallagher, could we see another record four? Let's wait and see. She's going to touch the wall in 25.75, a little slower uh, than Emma Chelius's one. Uh, it is a victory, but she'll be happy with that. Erin Gallagher grabbing the victory a terrific time, 25.75. The only swimmer there to dip under 26. And she'll be happy with that. Didn't need to exert herself too much, but she has booked her place into the finals. Erin Gallagher finishing ahead of Caitlin DeLanger and Amica Diaka running off the three. Story of the morning so far, though, took place in the fourth heat in the 50 freestyle. Emma Chelius swimming in a time of 24.72 to book her ticket to Tokyo. 
Alessio is uh, already looking to go off there because of her performance in the women's 4x100 a few nights ago. A new SA record for Emma Chelius. That was astounding. Moving over now to the men's 50 freestyle. First up, three competitors taking to the water. Christian Sadi, Francois Turon, and Ryan Zazas. Different category swimmers here, remember? Christian Sadi. It's already qualified for the Paralympics in three different events. And it's 50 freestyle. Sadie Turan and Zazas. Francois Turan and Ryan Zazas. In their respective categories, Sadie looking to gone in his very good effort so far look at the speed of these men to run out in front Zazas in lane five Saudi in his different category flying away over in lane three but uh, it is Francois to run getting it in a time of 25.74 Zazas gets his 25.95 Christian Saudi 29.92 you see very happy with those times Tremendous efforts from those three, Saadi, Turan, and Zazas. Confirmation of those times. So the first heat of the men's completed. As we move over to heat number two. Gower Winter, Platner, Robinson, Bornman, Masui, Portkira and Staines. And here we go. The second of five in the 53. In they go. Good start from Boardman. Masui also going along nicely. Robinson, a terrific dive from him. Also looking good as Platner. Boardman, Masui. But look at Robinson go. Plenty of white water. Robinson looking exceptional, breaking away. Also, Portkitter looking strong. Robinson, Portkitter, who's going to get there? Robinson will cruise home in lane three. 24.42. And the Tokyo time, 22.01. He's outside of that, but uh, easing his way into the final. Adrian Robinson going through. Benjamin Platner second, and Aiden Bornman in third position. 
Wow. Excellent performance from Adrian Robinson. Swimming out of karting. Also a Twane representative. So Emma Chelius and Erin Gallagher chatting away. Erin congratulating Emma on uh, beating her SA record. And, uh, of course, those are two teammates in the 4x100. Wow, that was uh, an amazing start to the morning. If you've just joined us, history made a short while ago in the heats of the women's 50 freestyle. Emma Chelius getting a SA record time of 24.72, beating Erin Gallagher's previous record, and in doing so, booking another spot in Tokyo. So we move over to the third heat of the men's 50 freestyle. <laughs> Unbelievable how quick this racing is. They just fly through. Chapman, Indebele, Haddon, Jimmy, Binadel, Norkia, Schlechter, and Nell. And away they go. Jimmy, Binadal, Haddon, Indebele, Chapman, Nokia, Schlechter, Nell. Who's your money on? It's going to be a tight one, this one. Not much to choose between their seat times. Plenty dipping below the 24-second mark. The time for Tokyo, 24.77. And away they go. Jimmy looking very strong. As is Haddon, Jimmy will get there first, does he? It looks like Clayton Jimmy has captured the win. Clayton Jimmy, 23.45. 22.01 is that Tokyo time. So outside of that, but Clayton Jimmy getting the victory. Tokyo time for the men, 22.01. The SA and Africa record held by one Roland Skuman, 21.67. Clayton Jimmy, 23.45. Norkia, 23.60. And Binadel, 23.64. So that men's time once again, 22.01 is what they're looking to achieve. And the only man to have dipped under the 23 mark, as far as their seat times are concerned from all the male competitors taking part, is uh, a man who was my guest yesterday. Doug Erasmus from KZN, 22.57, 31 years of age, and he calls himself the veteran of the group. He's actually the only man uh, over 30. But like he, he explained, if you look at uh, the fastest time in the event, held by a 36-year-old. Penultimate heat of the morning in the 50 free for men. We have Essoff, Bosch, Spaker, Goodseer, Matason, Van der Aar, Bowers, and Randall. Mm -hmm. 
Heard someone scream out in the scan stands now. Go Jesse, referring to Jesse van der R. 21 years of age, swimming out of the Western Cape. 23.76 seconds for him. Fastest seat time here, Ryan Kutsia, swimming in lane four. Only just ahead of Matason. So it could be anyone. And away they go. All of them first. Uh, quickly in the water. Nice start from Spake out in lane three. Could see her looking good too. Matason. Could see her going along very nicely. As is Bosch. But it is Could see her out in front. Just ahead of Bosch. Could see her. Could see her powering on. And he will get there first. 23.12 for Ryan Could see her. Again, the Tokyo time needed 22.01. So out of reach there. But he'll get another crack this evening in the final. Happiness all round. Ryan could see a tremendous swim from him. Followed by Matthew Bosch and Lucian Matason rounding off the three. 23.12 the time there from Ryan could see Amazing how quick these swimmers go. So another reminder, if you have just tuned in, it's the morning heats at the final day of the SA Swimming Championships taking place in Kerberka. And we've got that one more heat to come in the men's 50 freestyle. Early in the women's 50 free, the story of the morning. And I expect it to be one of these stories of the championship. Emma Chelius in the heats, swimming to a Tokyo qualifying time of 24.72 and in doing so she beat the previous record held by Erin Gallagher who in fact is a teammate in the 4x100 freestyle team that also qualified for Tokyo a couple of nights ago. No doubt Erin would have been disappointed to have lost out on the record but as soon as Emma got out the water Erin was one of the first over there to congratulate her. And of course, Erin will get an opportunity to do it again tonight. Maybe she can reclaim that record. But Emma Chelius making SA history a short while ago. Let's see if any of the men can do the same in this, the final heat of the morning in the 53. Van Rienen, Guricic, Hartigan, Erasmus, Kutsia, Volmerans, Duplessis, and Pretorius. Erasmus, in fact, Kutsia is not taking part. In they go, Doug Erasmus, who was my co-host yesterday. And he gets off to a flying start, does Doug Erasmus from KZN. 31 years of age, swimming like a 21-year-old. He's going out very, very fast, as is Hartigan. Doug Erasmus looking very strong over in lane four. Look at him go. Volmrans also continuing to fight from the Eastern Cape. But Doug Erasmus in front. Doug Erasmus just beating out. Whoa, Doug Erasmus beating out Juricic. And he's doing so in 22.95, dipping under 23. The Tokyo time was 22.01. Doug Erasmus, congratulations. The fastest man of the morning, 22.95, his swim. Pretty happy with that. We'll try and get him over here in a short while. Can rejoin us and chat about that performance. So that wraps up the 53. 
Yeah, amazing. It is a, a fast and furious race. We mentioned about it being a blue label event, and that certainly is the case. Oh, and So the 50 freestyle done and dusted as we move over to the 50 backstroke, S14, S15. Record year held by Kirod Zunbach, 24.34. That is in open, not in S14, S15. Here we go, Ethan Paulser, Aaron Putz, Matthew Moss, and Charles Parkin. Charles Parkin, 52 years of age, 2008, giving two years to live, and look at him go. Swimming from the Eastern Cape. And away they go, Paulser and Putz swimming in S14, S15. Western Cape and KZN respectively. Matthew Moss and Charles Parkin swimming in S1, S13. Great effort so far from Matthew Moss swimming a world record not too long ago. Slightly ahead of Aaron Putz, Ethan Pulser over in lane three. Matthew Moss just ahead. Who's it going to be, Moss or Pulser to get there? In fact, it's going to be a dead heat. Wow. What a tremendous finish. And it was Ethan Pulsa getting the P1, 34.72 in his category. And Charles Parkin coming through at 39.42 in his respective category. It's an amazing story. Charles Parkin suffering from motor neuron disease. Diagnosed in 2008. Given two years to live. And he decided to take up swimming to try and prolong his life. And how well is that turning out to be? An amazing, amazing inspiration for all. And Charles Parkin continues to stand at 52 years of age. And Ethan Balsa with the fastest time there, Getting confirmation of those times of the race that just finished with regards to respective records. There you can see very impressive performances so far from them. As we move over now to the women's 50 meter backstroke, one of the stories of the championship. Kat Swanapool 
and she'll be up against Michaela Kretzen. This is in the S14, S13 category. Also got Kate Di Marais joining the two swimmers of Swanepoel and Kretzen. Swanepoel in lane three, Kretzen in four, and Kate Di Marais in five. And away they go. Critson and Murray going along nicely. Over in names four and five. Kat Swanepoel in her category S14, S15. Very strong with her arms. It's been a revelation at this event. But it is Critson in lane four leading the way ahead of Murray. And Critson in S14, S15. The gap starting to narrow between Kretzen and Marais, but Kretzen will touch home in her category, as does Marais, follow up very closely. She's an S1, S13 competitor. And here we have Kat Swanepoel coming home. Another signing effort from her. And she will touch in a time of 104.92. Another heat completed on day six, the final day of competition here in Quebec at the SA Swimming Champs. Looking back at the performances that you just saw now, Swanepoel, Kretzen, Murray taking to the water in S14, S15, S1 and S13. Excellent swims from the competitors as they make their way out of the water. And the next lot prepare to take on the challenge. Next up, we've got the 200 IM for women. Four laps of the pool. One different stroke per lap. Tokyo qualifying time here, 212.56. And uh, one of the swimmers that certainly is in contention to book a Tokyo spot in this event is Rebecca Mida. Her seeding time, 212.96. She'll be swimming in the fourth heat. Before that, we've got plenty of swimming still. First up, Christine Mbite, Taylor Ferro, and Kate Mayer. In 
just going back to Katsuanapul's effort. A massive essay record from her. Another record. Just waiting for confirmation to see if it is a world record. But Kat Swanepoel doing the business once again. She is unstoppable. And as Theo Fister has continued to tell us, she only took up the sport about a year ago. And since then, she has gone from strength to strength, shattering record after record after record. OK, I've just got confirmation now that it is only an SA record, only in inverted commas. Still an astounding effort. That uh, world record is a So waiting to kick things off in the women's 200 IM. One lap of each stroke. Starting off with Butterfly. So Cats time, 104.92. An SA record. Congratulations to her once again. She continues to stand. So the first of four heats of the women's IM starting in Beta, Faro and Mayer begin the butterfly. Mayer getting off to a good start, the Eastern Cape swimmer, 18 years of age, ahead of Mbite and Faro. Opening up a good early lead already is Mayer. Very prominent when it comes to butterfly. Which is now over to backstroke. Nothing to choose between her two competitors, although Fera is starting to make her presence felt as she pulls away from Mbite. This is a stroke that she knows all too well. She'll look to close the gap now on Maya. So far now, it's Kate Mayer, followed by Ferro, followed by Mbite. Half the race done. They move into breaststroke. Kate Mayer still holding on to that lead. Ferro just outside her. Mbite lying in third in lane three. Mayer continuing to power ahead. And May extending her lead over Ferro. This is a great swim. And she'll reach the wall in a time of 15133. And she moves on to freestyle. And that gap far too big. Tremendous swim from Kate Mayer, the local lady. Eastern Capers will be very impressed with this performance.
Mayer well clear of Taylor Ferro and Bita in third. But it will be Mayer to come through to capture the victory. And she does so in a time of 225.80. Ferro coming in second. And then Bita will capture third position in this. The opening of four heats in the women's 200 IM. A reminder of that Tokyo time once again, 2.12.56. That is the time the swimmers are looking to beat. He smiles all around between the competitors. So 2.12.56 is the time that they are aiming for. And having a look at the seeding times, it would appear as if the only swimmer capable of reaching that, and very doable in fact, is Rebecca Mida. Rebecca Mita will be competing in the fourth and final heat from lane four, and her time, 2.12.96. So she'll have to quicken her time by 0.400 if she is to book another place for Tokyo. The reason why I say another place, because uh, Mita's already performed in the women's 4x100 alongside Gallagher, Kenny and Chelius. So some um, sad news coming through now. I spoke about Kat Swanepoel getting the SA record. Unfortunately, it won't stand because she has been DQ'd on her touch. So unfortunately, no SA record for Kat Swanepoel in the, that event. She was swimming the 50 backstroke. So she got DQ'd on her touch. Not to worry, though, because uh, she'll have plenty of more opportunities to break it as she has been doing so all along setting records breaking them shattering them in fact and of course she's uh, already confirmed her place to Tokyo Moving on now to the next heat. 50 backs. Apologies, 200 IM. George, Mikla, for Nick Ross, Tucker, Corbett, and Opperman. Kayleen Corbett also on her way to Tokyo. And in they go. Good start from Marlies Ross. Marlies Ross going strong ahead of Tucker. Tucker certainly one to watch out for. Swimming out of Johannesburg, coached by Peter Williams, a renowned swim coach. And it looks as if Dakota Tucker does hold a slight lead. She, in fact, no, Laura for Nickak, 30.7. Laura for Nickak looking good. As does Dakota Tucker. Dakota Tucker overtaking for Nickak. And she'll make the turn at the halfway stage in front. The swimmers uh, switch over to brace stroke now. They take your time once again. 
2 12 5 6. So Laura for Nikak, this is part of the race that she really, really enjoys. Look at her go. Watch out for Kayleen Corbett too. She'll come into her own over in lane six. A terrific effort so far from Kayleen. And she takes over the front. And she'll power home, looking to finish strong in the freestyle just inside her. Dakota Tucker. So Kayleen Corbett looking to keep hold of first place. But watch Dakota Tucker come through now. Dakota Tucker, the youngster from Johannesburg, a St. Stithian student, overtaking Kayleen. And it's going to be tight. Dakota Tucker will get there first, followed by Kayleen Corbett. That was a tremendous swim from Dakota Tucker. 220.31 for Dakota Tucker. That Tokyo time, 2.12.56, side of reach there. Tremendous swim from Dakota Tucker. She'll be very happy with that performance. Only 16 years of age. Caught up with her yesterday after the heats. Very confident young woman. Chatting to her coach, Peter Williams, says she has a massive future in the sport. Which goes without saying, you just saw her perform. Now, swimmers enjoy their warm downs. Keep on emphasizing the reason behind that. Warm down pool to the right of me, adjacent to the main pool. Not the widest of pools. So as a result, can't fit too many swimmers in. So the swimmers enjoy their warm down in the main pool as soon as they've completed the event. It's going to be very interesting to see some performances a little later. We've also got a time trial to cap off the morning and it is Peter Kutsia, 16 years of age swimming out of tux and that is in the 100 backstroke so what happened uh, a few days ago Peter Kutsia vying to capture the time for Tokyo 53.85 certainly within shooting distance and he unfortunately slipped at the takeoff so he will have a re-swim so to speak time trial to see if he can better his time from earlier. So a reminder once again, if you have just joined us uh, earlier this morning, we witnessed uh, a little bit of history. As Emma Chelius shattered the women's 50-metre freestyle record for South Africa, swimming it in a time of 24.72. And in doing so, she qualified for Tokyo. Next up, the third heat, Butcher, Engelbrecht, Quinn, Canny, Whelan, Hearn, and Dosta.
And in they go. We had Amy Kenny next to us a little earlier. And it was uh, when Chelius went and set that record. And Kenny could hardly believe it. Kenny going on strong in the butterfly. Jessica Whelan on the inside. Kuhn looking good. Watch Amy Kenny go. Closely followed by Emma Kuhn. It'll be Kenny to touch on first in the butterfly. Moving over now to backstroke. Watch out in lane five, Jessica Whelan. Pulling off a bit of a comeback, still very much early days. Amy Kenny, another one of those awesome, awesome ladies who swam the other night in the 4x100. Terrific performance in lane three from Emma Kuhn, and she pulls away from the pack. Almost a body length clear, and as I say that, a terrific comeback too from Jessica Whelan halfway through the race. As they switch over to breaststroke now. Jessica Whelan looking powerful. As is Kuhn. Amy Kenny mounting a comeback. The stroke she enjoys too. Yeah, out of breath she was a little earlier chatting to me following the 53. Amy Kenny mounting a serious comeback. Emma Kuhn holding on with just... And Kenny, look at her stroke rate. Powerful strokes underwater, and it looks like she will tow touches first, just ahead of Emma Kuhn as they switch over to freestyle now. And Amy Kenny, this is one that she likes to dominate. We saw her earlier finishing second in the 53 in her heat. And watch Amy Kenny now do the business in the freestyle. Emma Kuhn outside her. Jessica Whelan. Amy Kenny looks to be taking things fairly easy so far. Matching each other stroke for stroke. Very good effort from Kuhn to keep up. It's going to be a tight between these two. But Amy Kenny, as she continues to power away, pulling away. But uh, second position will be tight. But Emma Kuhn does get that. Amy Kenny, great victory. 221.93. Ahead of Emma Kuhn, 222.54. And Jessica Whelan, 222.60. Looking back at that event, a, a terrific performance from Amy Kenny. You could see when she pulled away in freestyle. Confirmation once again, Kenny, Kuhn, Whelan, the top three. Another superb swim from the Western Cape swimmer, Amy Kenny. So we move over to the fourth and final heat in the women's individual medley. And this is a big one because Rebecca Mida is within touching distance of a Tokyo qualifying time. The Tokyo qualifying time, 2.12.56. Rebecca Mida's seed time, 2.12.96.
So it is very much within sight for Rebecca Mina. This, of course, just the heats. So she could maybe take it easy and focus all her energy on tonight's final. If she were to get there, of course, let's not uh, jump the gun. But yeah, Rebecca Mida, one to watch out for in the fourth and final heat in the women's IM 200. Here they go. Taylor, Hudson, Randall, Mida, Fasaki, Mandel, Miller, Detoy. 2.12.56, the time that they need to get to qualify for Tokyo. Rebecca Mida, good start for her. Watch her in the blue swimming cap and the bright pink costume. She starts off strong in the butterfly. As does Samantha Randall. The Saki on her inside. This is going to be a cracker. Rebecca Mida pulling out very, very quickly. And she makes the turn in 28.57. 2.12.56 is that magic number. 2.12.96 was her seat time. Move over to backstroke now. Nice comeback from Kristen Mandel. But it is Rebecca Mida way out in front. More than a body length clear so far. And that's the woman's 200 IM. And Mandel mounting a great comeback in the backstroke leg. But Rebecca Mida makes the turn. She switches over to breaststroke 103.89. 2.12.56. Remember, that is the number. Rebecca switching over to breaststroke now. Any other cheers? Could she get there? We're sitting at 1.20 on the clock at the moment. So less than a minute to go for Rebecca Mida. Reminder again, this is the heats though. She'll have another crack tonight where she not to get it. So it is a battle for second place because Rebecca Mida looks to have had this sewn up. And it's a race against the clock for her. She touches in a time of 144.30. The time again, 2.12.56 is what she'll be aiming for. She continues to power on in the freestyle. We're just at the two-minute mark. She's got to get home in less than 12 seconds. I don't think that will be happening. It won't. She is taking it easy. She's going to focus her attention in the final. And she will coast home to a clear victory. Meanwhile, for second place, it is in sixth position. Kristen Nell, Mandel rather, in sixth lane. She'll grab second place. So Kristen Mandel grabs second place. Rebecca Mida coasting home in a time of 2 minutes 17.09, well outside that uh, Tokyo qualification time of 2.12.56, but you can see she clearly wasn't exerting herself. First prize is to get through to the final, which she has done. And then tonight, you can be sure that she'll be going guns blazing. Rebecca Mida, 2.17.09. Kristen Mandel grabbing second spot, 2.21.58. And I think it was Emily Fasaki with the next best time, 2.22.67. It was Emily Fasaki rounding off the top three. Mida Mandel Fasaki, followed by Samantha Randall. So that's uh, the woman done and dusted in this 200 IM as we move over to the men. Qualifying time here, 159.67. Matt Sates, the man to watch out for, yeah. We'll be in action a little later.
Yeah, you can see the celebrations all around. The vibe certainly upping the ante here. In Nelson Mandela Bay Municipality, we are in Quebec for the final day of action in the SA Swimming Championships. We've had five days of non-stop swimming and we are wrapping up today. Certainly bittersweet because we've thoroughly enjoyed our stay here, but uh, yeah, we don't want it to come to an end given all the performance we have seen. Story of the morning so far, without doubt, the effort from Emma Chilius a little earlier putting in an astounding performance in the women's 53, breaking the SA record and booking another spot in Tokyo. Okay. The first of three events about to take to the water in the men's 200 free, uh, 200 IM. Martindale, Gassani, Brown, Hartigan, Ross, Safe at and O'Hara. In they go for the first length butterfly. Tokyo seating time, Tokyo qualifying time, 159.67. Fastest of the swimmers in this heat. In terms of seat times, Russ Hardigan, 20448. He'll be the man to, to catch based on earlier performances, but it's in lane five. Andrew Russ, who gets to the turn first, only just ahead of Russ Hardigan. Moving over to backstroke now. Andrew Ross continues to power home. Andrew Ross reaching the turn. And he begins the breaststroke leg. Almost half a body length clear of Hardigan. But this is where Hardigan will certainly come into his own. Also looking very good JP safe at from the Eastern Cape. A very good performance here from Ross Hardigan in the breaststroke. Closing the gap on Andrew Ross. It's going to be a tight finish between these two. But Hardigan trying to edge ahead of Ross. Ross having none of it, though. He continues to hold the lead. And he will touch first, going into the final lap as they begin freestyle. Ross in front, followed by Hardigan. JP Seifert looking good over in lane six. And Hardigan looks to have overtaken Ross, and that indeed he has done. Hardigan now stretching his lead. Was chasing for most of the race. Now he's in front, and he's extending. He will cruise home to the win. Ahead of Andrew Ross. Hardigan, 205-38. Ross, 207-14. And Cameron Caselli grabbing third spot. High fives, congrats. Ross Hardigan with the victory. A great start to the day here in Quebec on this Monday morning.
Looking back at those performances so far. Was an impressive swim from Ross Heidegger. He'll definitely be happy with that. Swimming out of Karting. Good effort from Cameron Caselli to, to capture third spot ahead of his Eastern Cape teammate, JP Safat. Andrew Ross holding on to front spot for most of that race. So let's look back at uh, the amazing memories that we have encountered here in Kepeka. Some astounding photos courtesy of Anton Geisa. You can have a look at the images at sasportsimages.photoshelter.com. We'll see that man in action a little later. Peter Kutsia. Wow, look at that picture. Sensational imagery that has taken place here at Newton Park Swimming Arena. We move over to the second heat in the men's IM. Here we go, the second heat in the men's 200. And in they go. Remember that Tokyo qualifying time, 159.67. Looking at their seeding times. The quickest being Holzhausen, the only man to dip below 205. Nell, Verby, Brooks, Holzhausen, Van Hasen, Ronaldson, Staines, and Bornman. Very good start in lane five from Van Hasten. Holzhausen making a comeback now. Looking tremendous over in lane three is Guy Brooks. Been prominent throughout this event. And Guy Brooks does uh, take a prominent lead as he heads to the turn. As they transition into breaststroke. And Guy Brooks still out in front. And closing in on him is Van Hastien. Van Hastien looking very good now. It's a shootout between Van Hastien and Brooks in the third leg. And it looks as if Van Hastien has won the shootout. He extends his lead. And he makes the turn, the final turn in 135.70. Very good effort from Van Hastien. Van Hastien ahead of Holzhausen. Van Hastien looking good. Meanwhile, Guy Brooks making a comeback. It's going to be a tight finish for second place. Van Hastien will take it. And I think second place went the way of Luca Holzhausen. It did. Wow, that was uh, an extremely tight finish. But Van Hastien grabbing the victory. An excellent finish from him. Interesting to know what happened over in lane six. Ronaldson just uh, stopping when he was coming through at the end. He didn't complete his fourth and final leg. We'll try and find out uh, a bit more details about that. So Ronaldson not in the equation. He'll be devastated with what took place there. 
Not too sure if he was DQ'd at the touch. But we'll wait to find out. And it looks very, very unhappy. Could look as if it could be medically related because he is talking to the medics on the side of the, the pool. So we do hope he's okay. And I was watching on the side of my eye and he just stopped at the turn. Yeah, definitely is medic medical related. So we really do wish him a speedy recovery and uh, hope for the best. As he sits down now, he's really not in a good place. But Andre van Heesten capturing the win ahead of Luca Holzhausen and Guy Brooks getting third position. So I continue to watch Daniel Ronaldson to the left of me and he continues to sit down. He's got his head in his hands. So certainly not in a good space, but uh, he's able to have all his functions intact for now. Here we go. Matthew Sates, the only man to dip under two minutes. Remember that Tokyo qualifying time, 15967. Matt Sates in fourth. In lane four, Zazas, Randall, Mullen, Sates, Russ, Keylock, LaRue, and Potkida. This is a big one. The good news is that Ronaldson is up and walking. So that's a relief. The 200 IM. And remember, Matt Saint's just missing out on qualification. In the 400 IM, we'll be looking to do it again. Do the damage this time around and book his place for Tokyo. All eyes on lane four. You can see that bright yellow cap of Matthew Saints as he breaks away already in the fly. 15967 is the time he needs to get to qualify. And he's already pulling away from Mullen and Russ. He touches home as he makes his way back in backstroke. Sates touching in 24.98. A reminder again, 15967 that time. All eyes on lane four. Sates, he reaches the turn in 56.09. Look at him go, Matthew Sates, 17 years of age, out of KZN from Seals. Terrific performance on his outside. Damien Mullen looking to close the gap somewhat. And doing just that. This is brilliant from Damien Mullen. But it is Sates still out in front. Sates touches in 133.79. The time again, 15967. is the one he's looking for. 15967. Tokyo qualification. And Sates, you can see, completely relaxed. He's not going for it this time around. Damien Mullen on his outside. A 
And Sates puts on the afterburners to get away from Mullen. And he'll come home ahead of Damien Mullen. Very good effort from Mullen. And Saints immediately turns to <laughs> begin his warm down. Saying, look at me, I'm not tired. Looked as if he was actually continuing to compete. <laughs> That's how quickly he went into it. So Matthew Sates getting the win ahead of Damien Mullen. And in third place, I think it was Kian Keelock, if I'm not mistaken. We'll just wait for confirmation from those positions. But Sates followed by Mullen. And uh, Kian Keelock grabbing third position. So Matt Sates not looking uh, for that Tokyo time in the heats. He'll focus all his attention on this event when it comes to the final this evening. What has been a spectacular SA Swimming Champs in Trebecha. A big thank you to the sponsors for making it all possible. Rand Water, Swimming South Africa, Sport and Recreation, uh, Department of Sport and Recreation, Arena, Saskok, National Lotteries Commission. So that wraps up the IM competition. And we'll be finishing off with some more freestyle trial before we get to that backstroke time trial of Peter Kutsia. Swimmers uh, make their way out of the pool. Opening things up for the rest. Out come the next set of competitors. It's the men's 100 free, S14, S15, S1 and S13. We've already seen a few of them in the pool already, including Eaton Pulse and Aaron Putz. Also Matthew Moss continues to break and shatter records, does the man from the Eastern Cape. Marane, Pulsa, Putz, De Freitas, Willers, and Matthew Moss. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're about to begin. That's the men's 100 freestyle, S14, S15, S1, S13. In they go, very good start from Kamarane. Pulsa in action, as always, looking terrific. Always gets off to a great start, does Eaton Pulsa. Aaron puts going strong too. 
puts his time for the seed 102.05. Pulsar 101.26. Matthew Moss and Willers in their S1, S13. 111.25 and 109.90 respectively. They make the turn. There's Pulsar out in front. Aaron Putz certainly gaining on him. Been a terrific battle between these two, in fact. Between Aaron Putz and Ethan Pulsar. Great competitors. Putz out of KZN. Pulsar out of Western Cape. But Pulsar looking very strong. And Pulsar. And he'll cruise to the win. Excellent swimming from Ethan Pulsar. 102.83. Aaron Putz comes home in 104.29. On the outside. Matthew Moss doing good things once again in the top three. We have Ethan Pulse in picture. Matthew Moss, terrific swimming in S1, S13. Look at the turn. Very good turn from Pulsa. Also coming through at the death. A wire to wire victory for the man from the Western Cape. Also 25 years of age. Puts 24 years of age. The freight is 31. Kamaran is 17. Willis 15. Matthew Moss 16. So we're looking at uh, the third final heat of the morning. We move over to the women's 100 freestyle, S14 and S15. In fact, it is the penultimate heat because um, we will have a time trial from Peter Kutsia. They have the competitors for the penultimate event of the morning. Women's 100 freestyle. S1, S13. Competitors there. We've got Katie Murray, Cornell Leach, Paula Fincel, and Kat Swanepoel. And S14, S15, Michaela Kretzen. And Mickey Janssen van Rensburg. Shot for Minky Janssen van Rensburg, owning the world record in this event in her category. 
121.05. And in they go. For this, the penultimate event of the morning. The women's 100 freestyle, S14, S15, S1, S13. Look out for Cornell Leach in lane five. Look at her go. She'll make the turn just ahead of Michaela Kretzen. The two swimmers competing in different categories. Paula Fancel looking strong in S1, S13. Kat Sonnepoel at the turn. Here we have lane five, Cornell Leach getting to the win. And uh, she finishes just ahead of Paula van Sale. We'll wait for confirmation of times. Impressive swimming. And here we have Kat Swanepoel coming through. Category S1, S13. A terrific athlete is Kat Swanepoel. Paralyzed from the waist down. Tremendous upper body strength. As she comes home to finish up in a time of 156.22. For Janse van Rensburg, 122.54 and able to eclipse her world record time of 121.05, but an astounding time nonetheless. Beautiful swimming from all concerned as we wrap up the races with one more event to come. Because while the races are done, we have one more time trial to take to the water. And this is going to be a big one. As Peter Kutsia looks to book his place for Tokyo. He took part in the men's 100 backstroke a few days ago. But an apparatus failure meant he was robbed of a great time. So they made a request to have a time trial. And it was agreed to. So Peter Kutsia will be swimming out on his own for the sanctioned event. And he'll look to get a qualifying time. And that qualifying time being 53.85. It's definitely within reach for him. They call him Worm because he's so big. He's certainly not Worm in age-wise. He's only 16 years of age. But look at the size of him compared to those around him. A giant and still growing. And a hell of a nice guy to boot. Spent some time with him yesterday afternoon. Really, really good bloke. And he's excited uh, for this. And he's really happy to have been given another chance to take on the 100 backstroke. Can you hear the celebrations now? People cheering him on. Here we go. Peter Kutsia by himself. There is the man. He'll be looking to qualify for Tokyo. Swimming out of Tux. The time needed 
everyone holding their breath. We saw someone qualify a little earlier today in Emma Chelius. Will Peter do the same? Two laps of the pool. And away he goes, 53.85 is the time he needs to get within to qualify for Tokyo. The crowd cheering on, it's just Peter Kutsia against the clock. Let's see him go, this man from Tux with an astounding future could already qualify for the Olympics at the age of 16 years of age. He's speeding along, let's see him reach the wall. The clock goes over 20 seconds now, 53.85, that is the time that he needs. He makes the time in 0.26, 26.818. Wow! They are cheering. 53.85 is what he needs to achieve. We move over to the 42nd mark. Peter Kutsia continues to fly. You can see the time at the bottom. 53.85, he needs to get within. And we wait, and he just misses out. He has just missed out. Oh, the time needed was 53.85. He gets 53.92. Wow. Oh, heartbreak for Peter Kutsia. You can see how devastated he is. He's got a big future ahead of him. He mustn't be too despondent. It won't be long before he confirms his participation in the Olympics. But unfortunately, it was not to be in this event, the time trial. Wow. 53.85, the time he was looking for. And he sat, swam a 53.92. You can see how disappointed he is. Heartbreak for the young man. But what a future lies in store. You can see fellow competitors oh so close. Ah, oh, he is very sad. What a swimmer. What a man. And yet, may not be today, but one day he will get there. And sooner rather than later. Moving on now to the next event. It is a 50 swim off between Chapman and Schlechter. A late addition to the program. Chapman from ECA and Gustav Schlechter. This was because of uh, a tied time from earlier. So these two are going to have a swim off to try and confirm their uh, participation in the finals. And they're ready themselves. <laughs> Chapman in lane four. Schlechter in lane five. Fifty-three swim off between just two participants, Chapman and Schlechter. Chapman from the EC. Schlechter from Karting. Who's it going to be? Very close times earlier. What will be the result this time round? Schlechter slightly in front. It looks Schlechter just ahead of Chapman. Schlechter firing forward. Schlechter, I think, will get there. Only just he does. Wow, 23.85 ahead of Brandon Chapman. 24.09. Look at those smiles. <laughs> Uh, nice congrats there from Chapman, beaten at the touch. 
23.85 from Gustav Schlechter. Brandon Chapman, 24.09. So that wraps up the morning's proceedings. Delight and despair for some swimmers. Delight for Emma Chilius for booking a place in Tokyo again in that 50 meter free. Swimming an SA record time of 24.72 to beat uh, one of her teammates previous times, Erin Gallagher, who had 24.95. So history made earlier this morning. And then we had Peter Kutsia, who was looking to swim within 5.3.85 in the men's 100 backstroke. He had a time trial following a equipment malfunction a few days ago, and it was not to be 5.3.92 for him, just, just out of Olympic range. And he was so disappointed with that result. But given how bright his future is, it's only a matter of time before we see him competing at the Olympics. Once again, a big thank you. SA Sports Images, remember to go to and have a look. Some amazing photos on offer. And all courtesy of Anton Geyser. Images available at sasportsimages.photoshelter.com. Nice shot there of Aaron Sweeney. Schwing, schwing. So make sure to log on. And if you want to get grab some of those photos, they are available. SASportsImages.photoshelter.com. Anton is a brilliant photographer. And yeah, some of his images have just been astounding, as have the performances so far here in Quebec. The sixth and final morning done and dusted. One more session to go here in the SA Swim Champs, Olympic and Paralympic qualifiers. And that will take place this evening, the finals at 6 p.m. Still plenty of opportunities for swimmers to stake their claim and grab their tickets to Tokyo. One of them being Matthew Sates. Also remember Rebecca Mida very much in line too, as are a few others. See you this evening at 6 o'clock for the final session of the SA Swimming Championships here in Quebec. Cheers.